Currently, there are about 17,000 publications addressing rodents or pest management. This will be the first to address professional rodent control using an odor-based federal EPA-registered biorepellent. Eliminating the occasional mouse or rat around a building is typically not very difficult, but managing rodent infestations in and around warehouses, food plants, zoological parks, hospitals, and schools requires a more integrated approach to rodent control, also known as IPM. This can only be done using an applied approach, using situational analysis, along with a good working knowledge of rodent biology and behavior. Today, I'm going to combine the two for the most practical approach. As face it, no two situations are ever the same and populations are usually site specific. This is especially true since all of these areas have a wide variety of structural and environmental situations to be concerned with. The pest management professional must manage rodent infestations in a manner that is safe for the environment, workers, and to non-target animals, all while also being cost effective. The goal with IPM is not to kill individual rodents, which is generally fairly easy, but rather effectively manage and prevent future infestations. I think it will be most helpful to talk about where this product began and how it was invented. Um, I'm the inventor and I brought this product to market. It's the first federal EPA registered all natural rodent repellent. Um, and what happened was I was a farm wife and we had expensive equipment to store. $200,000 combine, grain trucks, what have you. And the mice kept getting in and damaging, chewing on the wiring harness, tearing up the seats. Um, we, we use poisons around the farm, but I didn't want to use them in our tractors and combines, for instance, because damage would happen to the electrical panels and such before the rodent would die. So I needed to invent something that would keep them out from the start to protect our high value property that went for months at a time without having me go in there. So I invented this product right here and really where it starts, the senses of rodents are highly adapted for their secretive lifestyle. So as you know, rodents are going to go and find places where they can live undetected for a long period of time. They're going to want food, they're going to want water, they're going to want wires to chew on, and they want to do it without people around, face it. So an odor-based repellent really was the only effective option that, that I could come up with. Since I'm already talking to experienced pest management professionals, let's cut to the chase and take a look at a few different situations where an odor repellent can be effectively used. Rodents rely on their senses of touch and smell for most exploration, and they possess excellent hearing and taste. Their sight, however, is not so good. This little pouch is filled with plant fiber and essential oils of balsam fir. The ideal use for it is to place it into an area where commensal rodents might go to feed, nest, hide, congregate, or gnaw on wiring. They'll be repelled or driven out. Equipment with wiring harnesses, electrical panels near grain bins, pump and well house, in an urban area, apartment buildings used to mask scent trails. You can use tracking powders and Lumitrack UV light to find where the rodents are coming in. Place this pouch down and disrupt the scent trail, making it easier to trap the rodent. Using attics, subfloors, drop ceilings to chase mice into an area where they can effectively be trapped. In a suburban setting, golf course, electrical areas, squirrels love to get in there. A pool house, 
dryer vent, ceiling vent, which is typically where rodents will enter the home. There are over 4,000 patents filed on mouse traps. It's been said that one should invent a better mouse trap. I got this patent because I instead asked, why not instead take a preventative approach to rodent control? Fresh cab, effective enough to use as part of any good IPM program, safe enough to use even in your most sensitive accounts where kids and pets may be present.